Hey, Nicole, uh, thanks for joining us. I uh, appreciate you doing all these interviews uh, today. Uh, I guess I uh, want to just uh, open up and talk a little bit more about uh, Taylor, if that's okay with you. That uh, Your feelings about Taylor, uh, they seem to have certainly evolved uh, from the time that you were in the house to now, uh, which I think is a, a, a good thing. Uh, besides being evicted, uh, what happened to change your opinions uh, so much in the last 24 hours? As far as what? Uh, just yet, yeah, it seems like that your opinions uh, seem to uh, not necessarily reflect the Nicole that we've seen uh, for the last couple of weeks in the house uh, towards uh, your attitudes towards uh, Taylor and how she was treated in the house. Um, you know, I feel like I wanted to make sure that she understood that she never did me wrong. She never said anything wrong to me. She never bullied me. I wanted to make sure that I met her with a lot of love and kindness mm -hmm. before I left because I knew I was going home and I didn't want to leave with her thinking that I hated her or that she did something to me. Yeah, we, we so basically what we saw at the beginning of the season was that Taylor is kind of immediately met with this sort of like unfair label of somebody that was aggressive and that would pop off if she was nominated, which was one of the primary reasons uh, that were sort of, that was sort of used to get her on the block in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, despite this, like Taylor never really had anything but good things to say about uh, about all of her fellow house guests um, and was was trying her best to find like the fault within herself. Uh, that was like causing everyone to treat her so poorly. Um, and and you you uh, you didn't really have much of an issue with her at first, but it did seem like over time, uh, as other people started to realize, hey, maybe she's actually not that bad. Uh, you and Daniel kind of became the like the 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 flag bearers of the uh, the Taylor sort of um, hate in the house, it seemed. Uh, and there was a lot of active like misinterpretation of things that Taylor was saying uh, or doing um, that that happened. And of course, one of the biggest ones was uh, with the thing that led to the the blow up with Daniel and uh, and yourself. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, after Turner said, you know, uh, that he felt like Taylor was being bullied in the house, um, it felt like there was sort of an opportunity there for people to kind of reflect and, and look at what was happening. Um, but, uh, it didn't quite seem like you were there yet in terms of understanding that maybe you were a part of it. Um, when, when did you really start to see that? Um, well, I can't say when, but I can say that I didn't think I was part of the problem at first. I thought that I was strategically playing to put somebody who was a bigger threat than me as my shield in the game. And I wanted to use that as as strategy to prove to my alliance that I was willing to sit next to her and make this big game move to advance my game further. Um, when I started realizing that things were going in a, in a more negative direction, um, I started redirecting, you know, how I was approaching her and how I was, and the things that were coming out of my mouth and and really thinking about what she never did to me. And I realized that she has never bullied me. She has never treated me with disrespect. And I knew that towards the end of me and my time in the Big Brother house that I needed to talk to her about those things and, and really approach it in a way of, you know, I'm not here to continue in this game with any negative or ill will towards her. Nicole, uh, you and Daniel uh, had said that you didn't think that Taylor was a good person. Uh, what had happened uh, to make you both feel that way? Um, I'm gathering from the interviews that I have had today um, that that all occurred on the day that the this blow up of sorts happened. And I haven't been able to watch any of that back. Um, I know that I definitely overreacted to something that was said to me by her and what I heard was completely different than now what I'm hearing that she actually said or that other people are viewing that she said and I really want to be able to watch that back and be able to discuss that with her because I was going through my own battle of emotions you know it had a lot to do with my mom being homesick and it it 
I thought that my I thought that my mom was was dead. So for me, you know, it, it also hurts because the last thing I want is for somebody to feel that horrible when I'm now finding out that she's in another room praying for me. So, you know, it's 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 tough to tough to chew. Had you gotten information about your mom at that moment? No, that's the worst part of all of it is that the confusion of, you know, the big brother house, there's two diary rooms and the one upstairs is meant for something. And then the one downstairs is meant for something else. And I was called to the, the one upstairs. And then as I'm walking up there and getting to that door, I'm told to now go downstairs to that diary room. And I thought that I was walking into a room with an envelope sitting on a chair. And yeah. uh, then questions started coming you know, my way about Taylor and, and, and things that she's doing and thing that she's doing to me. And, and in that moment, I felt like I was, um, I felt like I was being put in a corner and, um, I just, everything just kind of came, came to a head and, and because of the nature of big brother and how times roll and they need to get the next house guest in an interview, they asked me to leave the diary room, maybe go find a, place in the house and and collect my thoughts and it just all it all came out the way it did you you mentioned in the in the house that you you like it when uh you know one of the things you like about big brother is that uh people are kind of held accountable for the things that they do and say uh in the house um yes. what does it mean to you to be held accountable and to take responsibility for the things that were said in the house i'm happy that i'm here today to be able to do that i'm here that i can answer questions and to the best of obviously my ability and knowledge of what I can remember. Um, you know, I think that the house guests who are left in the house, the remaining house guests who are there, they belong there. I, I, I am excited to see what happens and what unfolds, but I'm happy that I'm able to address what has occurred already and that I can speak and that I can watch and reflect and then also just hope that when Taylor gets out that we can sit together and really dive in and figure out where things went wrong with her and I. Okay, Nicole, I know you have to run. Uh, we do appreciate you uh, doing these interviews. So uh, thank you very much uh, for that and take care, okay? Thank you so much. Okay. You guys have a good one.